Okay, here's a subject we need to talk about, or more importantly, more so rant about, and that is the growing size of game sizes or install sizes for video games that's come out here recently within the last past couple of years. It was announced that Insomniac has said you'll need at least 98 gigabytes, a minimum, mind you, of 98 gigabytes to install Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now here's where the argument gets into it, right? Like let's jump right into it because here's where the argument gets interesting. Now for starters, maybe 500 gigabytes was enough here for a starter system, especially if you were looking to build with a budget, right? And especially how now you can pick up a 500 gigabyte SSD, rather that's an NVMe M.2 or just your standard SSD for just about under 30 to 40 USD here on average. If that's an addition you need to make for your system, say like you're still chugging away on a mechanical drive, like a hard drive, then it's a worthy upgrade, especially when you migrate your OS over to the SSD. You're gonna get faster boot times, faster load times. It's super worth it. But yeah, with games like Marvel Spider-Man 2 coming out here soon, I believe in November, and then RoboCop Rogue City, and then Mortal Kombat 1, and then just again, Starfield that just also come out, and a few other games that you might have on your backlog that you might wanna catch up and play. If you're considering building a gaming PC before you exit the 2023, I strongly recommend you start with an SSD of at least one terabyte. Again, if you plan on building a video game catalog of more than five games, and especially if you plan on playing any of those games, I mentioned Marvel Spider-Man 2 that coming in at just about 100 gigabytes and then you have a game like Starfield which too is coming in at just a little over 100 gigabytes and then games that are based on a service like Apex Legends, Fortnite and Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 which the latter has just recently been able to shrink down its install file size so kudos to Activision for that but Apex and Fortnite are still games that require a hefty amount of your SSD or hard drive space, right? And so if you factor in the accumulated install space for all five of those games, right? Like Starfield, Spider-Man 2, Apex, Fortnite, and Warzone, some of the most popular games just to boot, right? Like that's it. That's also basing this off of you not having anything else installed on this particular hard drive or SSD. And so combined, those games alone will take up more than the available space or the capacity on that drive, especially if it's just a standard 500 gigabyte you know, reader in your system. So what's becoming the new norm here going forward, at least what I might have to start recommending, especially with one terabyte SSDs being incredibly low, lower than they have been in quite a while now. You can pick up a one terabyte NVMe M.2 for just about 50 USD. This is a super good deal, especially if you plan on rocking a system that's going to have a catalog of at least three to five games. And even then, you may still want to consider adding a companion drive for your OS or games that you play a little more often so that you can have access to them just a little bit faster. So if that's you and you're interested in making this switch or upgrading to a larger size capacity SSD or even a faster generation SSD like Gen 3 or Gen 4, I'll leave a couple links down in the description box below. That'll lead you over to Amazon where you can check them out if you're interested in making that switch. Again, one I highly recommend, but that's just one of the joys of being a PC gamer. I mean, this video was kind of meant to serve as sort of a rant, but if you're a long time viewer here, you know I'm not very good at those. But this is me trying to rant and essentially as PC gamers, we have the freedom, the luxury, and the choice, so long as we have the means to control the storage capacity or how much storage we want to use for our system and build our video game catalog or build our library of games without the hassle of having to uninstall and reinstall and just it takes away from the time that you actually have or have allocated to sit down and actually you know play video games so i'm kind of projecting here if you haven't noticed or if you can't tell so what does this mean? Well, for starters, it's good that games are evolving, we're getting new features, and they're becoming more and more detailed and lifelike. It's becoming difficult to tell the difference between photorealistic and computer-generated, say, or just overall games have become better in their overall presentation. Right? We've gotten better detailed uh, textures and better detail on our models and environments and what have you. So this is all a good thing for the future of gaming as games are looking better and eventually that'll translate to them playing better too or just running a little bit more smoother but developers have appeared to just went all in and say you know what 
but we're going to sacrifice detail, quality, performance, and new features for the sake of your SSDs. And then that translates to your wallet, adding that extra cost of about $25 to $30. And once you're going from a 500 gigabyte SSD to about a one terabyte, SSD and then maybe an additional $50 to add a companion drive, maybe even another one terabyte SSD. If you plan on installing an abundance of games or you're a gamer that likes to have a wide variety of games available to you, then two terabytes might be the right path for you to get started on. And it might make the most sense for you to allocate a crucial part of your budget to that area of your system, especially if you want to reduce the bottleneck of having to make space to install a new game, something I just recently ran into on a test system behind me, but that's a whole nother video. So like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet to catch that video in the future. So yeah, just like we all went from recommending eight gigabytes to at least 16 gigabytes for a dedicated gaming PC, going forward here for at least a single store solution for your gaming PC, one terabyte, again, especially with cost being so low, and where they are here, like this Western Digital one terabyte SSD, you can pick up over on Amazon. Again, links down in the description box below. But with SSD prices being as low as they are, it makes the most sense, okay? The math maths out if you put it towards allocating your funds to getting a higher capacity, fast, single storage solution. Go with multiple if you plan on fully extending your catalog, or if you're a content creator, this obviously makes the most sense here. So going with a two storage solution, but also make the most sense for you there too. This is going to again, help you save time and just the headache of having to reinstall and download your games. It's one thing I've noticed. It's one thing I wanted to bring to the attention of the community, to just kind of highlight and to make others aware of the importance of going with a high capacity SSD initially when you're starting your build. So going into the initial part of the planning process of your build, start with a one terabyte SSD. But that's all I got for this one, y'all. Do be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're new here to the community. I do hope to catch you all in the next one. So until then, be easy.